We stick together like the glue on the lashes On fleet like the brows, never throwing in a towel Always ready for the town, looking beautiful together You're stronger than ever, your community don't tether Yeah, your sisters forever Girls before you missed her, be part of a team Yeah, we're beauty's big sister I said, and put your girls before you missed her Be part of a team, yeah, we're beauty's big sister Check it Beauties, welcome back to my beauties big sister channel. I had an early start this morning with Elizabeth Arden, a flawlessly fresh start for the brand new primer and foundation. So I've been hearing about it all morning and I'm like, okay, okay I want to try it right now. <laughs> I woke up, I quickly done a little bit of mascara, brushed my brows out, of course done my skincare. If you guys have followed me for a while, you will know that Elizabeth Arden is like my favourite skincare brand. Their products I absolutely swear by. So on my skin right now I have my vitamin C serum which I adore. I also have my 8 hour daily defence moisturiser which just go hand in hand together. They are my little dream team. Elizabeth Arden has kindly stocked me up on my hyaluronic acid uh, serum as well. So this is the Hydra Plumping Serum. So I'm just gonna actually gonna add a little bit of this on. So all their serums come in a capsule like this. Serum is just so perfect for intensely hydrating the skin. Super soft feel to my skin as well. It really is the perfect kind of pre-makeup step as well as obviously giving me all my boost of hyaluronic acid which has actually been put into these makeup products as well which is brilliant so if you do want to see more on this serum i did do a full video on it and went through all my favorite elizabeth arden products in that video as well i'm super super excited about this primer. If you look really closely, you can see bubbles in this formula. They are basically bubbles of oil in this gel-like primer. I, for one, am the hugest fan of oils, facial and body oils. They're my favourite. So the fact that I know that there are oils in this primer makes me very, very excited because I feel like it's going to be super hydrating. It says on the right up that droplets of oil are suspended in a hydrating gel. Lightweight texture glides on and bursts onto skin with freshness and purity. So you've got hyaluronic acid in here to hydrate and the primer helps improve skin and restores a youthful glow. So this primer is said to not only hydrate the skin instantly, but also over time. If you use it every day, you're gonna see incredible results with this primer. So I'm very excited that this is kind of like a, a primer, skincare and makeup hybrid. And I have never, seen a primer like this before. The packaging comes with a pipette and I'm not gonna lie, it's very therapeutic to look at. I think the, the packaging of this is just incredible and I love that it's kind of like that soft pink tone as well. So I am gonna drop this onto my skin. I don't really know how much we need. Okay, it's more of a thicker jelly than I thought it would be because I was thinking of oil, I was thinking of it being, you know, really kind of dripping on the skin. So let's just blend this in. Right now I can feel the kind of oil as it's bursting. So gorgeous on the skin. Hopefully you can see as I'm like blending it in, it's just so nourishing, hydrating. It's like slipping onto the skin and soak it in. It's really refreshing as well. For me, I'm all about hydration, about glow. I do have like a normal skin texture, so I am not necessarily dry or oily, so I think this is gonna be perfect for me. You might, you know, if you do have oily skin, you might think that this is too hydrating for you, especially as there are oils within the formula, but for me, just, my skin is soaking up this hydration. This on the right up that my skin should look instantly brighter and fresher. And I do feel like my skin does look like it's just had a bit of a, an intense boost. My skin is glowing. Let's see how makeup applies on top because so far I'm really liking this. It has sunk in quite quickly. It's not tacky. I don't like a tacky primer, which is good. It's not got that like silicone texture. It's just super, super smooth. It is like they've just mixed a primer with my favorite kind of serum texture. It is really, really nice. Now for the star of the show, the brand new 
foundation. It is in quite a slick bottle. It's like a frosted glass bottle and it comes in at the size, which I think is a nice little touch. So this is the Flawless Finish Skin Caring Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid, Vitamin C and E. 87% of this formula is skincare ingredients. As soon as I hear that, this has me interested for like a day-to-day -day wear. I obviously want to be caring for my skin and not clogging up my pores. If this is mostly skincare, but it's gonna like make my skin look flawless, then sounds like it's up my street. Also says that this had 24 hour wear and oil control, heat and humidity resistant, lightweight texture of this as well. I'm excited to see the coverage that you get with this. There is 40 shades as well that have brought this foundation out in, which is so good and I'm so happy that they've done that. So I have got the shade 260N, a website called Findation. And basically you can put in the foundation shades that you already wear and then the system then works out what shade you'd be in new formulas like this. So this will be going on the Elizabeth Arden website soon. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really cool. That's how they figured out my foundation colour. It's looking a little bit light in the bottle, but let's see what it applies like. I really like that you've got the pump applicator as well. It just makes it super easy to apply it and like mess free. It's got a real slip to it. The texture of these formulas are really, really beautiful. When I'm applying this, it definitely feels like skincare more than makeup. Okay, the formula of this really reminds me of the By Terry Foundation. Like the way it's slipping onto the skin. Oh, Just on the right up to this, it says it's long wearing, lightweight, natural finish coverage, which I would agree with. But for me, it is definitely a light coverage formulation. So it's just kind of perfected everything on this side of my face. So this is the before and this is the after. It has just given my skin this real radiance and glow. When I rub my fingers across, like I would definitely need to set this on my skin, I think. Otherwise, I feel like it would slip on me. I just want to keep feeling my skin. It feels so soft. It says that this wouldn't sink into fine lines or pores, which is pretty amazing. Heat and humidity resistant for all lifestyles. This skin looks brighter, younger, and more supple, which look how like plump and dewy my skin looks. It definitely is giving me that fresh, younger looking skin vibe. I'm just going to wet my sponge with my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour mist and just build this up a little bit on this side to see what it would look like a little bit more full coverage and if we can build it up which yeah it does look like with a sponge i'm getting more of that full coverage airbrush finish so you can kind of suit this to however you want it i think i would go a little bit darker and a little bit warmer if I was to choose a shade again. More of a full coverage, so this is before. You can see I've got a little bit of redness here. You can see a little bit of blemish marks this side. This foundation is £32, a lot cheaper than the By Terry and I'm getting all the By Terry vibes from this. Put a little bit with the brush, I'm just gonna go in towards the center of the face. So this is where you want to get the most of your full coverage and then make sure you blend it out so that it's nice and light around this area so you don't get that nice, not nice, dyed mark. Going in with my Laura Mercier butter just around this area right here. I feel like my skin is looking pretty airbrushed. I'm gonna go in with my Hula Caramel. Just warm this up a little bit. And don't be put off that that primer has oil in it because you know I am going over with powders now and just look how flawlessly that powder is blending. Wow. This, this is good. Do you know what, now I'm adding my bronzer, I do think that this color, like look at my neck, this actually is the perfect color for me. It's probably just when I get a little bit more tanned in the summer. I'll go a little bit darker, but for now, this is actually perfect. Someone actually asked on the Zoom this morning whether um, you could use this over makeup. I would never normally go in with a primer over makeup, but they did say that, you know, it could work. It could kind of give you that kind of refresh and dewiness again. So 
maybe let's let's try this so i'm just gonna put a little bit on a little blob on the back of my hand like it's actually so clever how it like stays in this jelly formula and then as soon as you touch it it like bursts into this beautiful lightweight oil like formula it's beautiful so let's just pat this on onto the cheekbones to get back that glow that i just took away from powdering this is so sick <laughs> it's not picking up the makeup from underneath and it's giving me like a natural glow without highlighter like a day-to-day -day, if you just want like a really fresh look especially when we move more into spring summer that is beautiful how fresh does that look this is like a highlight using no highlight just using skincare oh amazing of course i will continue to use these and see how they wear see how they last see how my skin reacts with these products after a while of time so do stick around subscribe if you haven't already and i'll make sure to update you very soon on them products i do do a live stream every monday at 6 p.m so you can always jump on there and just ask me anything about these products or literally about anything it's normally just a real girly chat and the best start like a positive week let me know what you've to think of these products in the comments below and i will see you soon in my next video bye yeah,